Okay, today we're going to do a walkthrough on an MPG by Heartland. Uh, the, the way I want to do the walkthrough typically is pretend that we've just pulled into a campsite and here's how I'm going to set it up and here's how I'm going to use it for the weekend. Uh, we've got to the campground, we haven't gotten to the lot yet. Well, the biggest thing to understand first is does the campground have a water hookup at each lot or do we need to fill a portable tank underneath the trailer and use the water pump for the weekend. If, as we go around the back, if they have a water hookup at each lot, we're just going to take a hose and hook to the city water connection. You're going to hook direct, it's going to be at your campsite, you're not going to mess with the pump, you're not going to mess with the water tank, anything, you're just going to hook your hose to their, their source and you're going to have plenty of pressure. If they don't have that, which a lot of state parks don't, some campgrounds don't, what you're going to do is you're going to fill a freshwater tank and all you're going to do is pull up to the potable water source at the campground, stick the hose in the tank, wait until it spits back out at you, uh, stick it right back in, let it breathe for a minute. Once it's full, it'll just keep spitting back. Every trailer is different. Most of them hold at least 30 gallons of fresh water. Okay, so we've decided our water. Now we get to the campsite. We have to plug in. We've got a uh, portable or a, a detachable cord. So we'll grab that in a second. The other thing you want to do while you're outside the coach. Turn both propane tanks on. Turn them both on at the same time. Make sure they're both full. Turn them both on. What will happen if you're camping for four or five days, you'll see this little eye right here is red. If we can zoom in on that little eye. The reason it's red is because there's no propane in either tank. Okay. This little selector switch, zoom in on that switch. This is now pointing to this tank, so that means we're pulling off this tank. If there's propane in this tank, this little red eye will turn green. Now the reason we turn both tanks on is in the middle of the night, if it drops down to 45 degrees and our furnace kicks on, and this tank runs empty, it will automatically switch to this one. So every couple days while you're camping, look at this eye. If the selector switches on the left tank and the eye is red, that means this tank's empty and it automatically switched to this tank. So flip your selector switch and then go get this tank filled. Then you'll never run out of propane. You don't want to run out at 2.30 in the morning when, it, when you need the furnace.